Alrighty then, time to make another quick video here on a play that just came in. Just play this one out in the room here. This is the double cross, double move. If you haven't seen the video on this one, I highly recommend you go back and check that one out. This is uh, potentially another way to use the DCDM, but first play is the DCDM to the penny play and then the turning point that we're seeing right here. And I wanted to get this in real time while this is coming up. Um, yeah, beautiful turning point right here. Okay, so the focus right down here on this chart you see that double cross right there, okay? If you are familiar with the double cross, double move, you should see this sticking out like a sore thumb right there in the middle of the screen. Now, we had just taken a play prior to this and took a nice double dot, blew up and in, exit in this position. I'll show you guys these trades here in just a minute as I posted the screenshots in the room. However, check this out. This DCDM, another very simple play. Let me erase the original drawing here. If it, All right, so we're back there. I went ahead and removed, uh, removed the fib drawing from it. Now remember, a double cross double move is a pivot to pivot measure. I originally measured this one. I like to go on the safe side of the distance, but this is the previous pivot. You see that pivot right there, right? I'm drawing that down to the middle of the double cross section. Again, these can be farther apart, but just pick the middle of the cross. This one's easy because they're sitting right on top of each other. So we're drawing it to right there. So the double move should be approximately the same distance. Now, this just happens to be, what is that line right there? That's the low of day. So again, another reason why I want to be shooting for this target to get down there. Now, I originally did not take this short because we were right inside of what? Right? You know the rules? We can potentially reverse a double cross because there's a green PRZ there, right? So I didn't initially take this. I kind of watched it, but I did do my measurement and I wanted to see because I'm going to play this a different way. What I wanted to do was measure out the fib line and see where the golden line was, which happened to be right here. And I was going to play this as the reversal if we did get this play. Okay, so I went ahead and drew it out. I did not take the original short because again, we had the green box right there. So what do I know about that? I wasn't willing to go long with this because just looking at where we were at, we had a lot of things pointing down. Main filter right here up in the MACV is telling us to point down. So I really didn't want to take another shot to the long side. I had already taken my long side shot right there and we dropped down and we didn't get continuation from that. So I was a little bit nervous on taking a long play right here. But if you're asking yourself, well, Vinny, why didn't you take the long play right here because it's a double cross into a green PRZ. That is my reasoning why I did not. Okay. So first thing I did, measured out F8. I drew from here to right here. Okay. Now that's a safe spot. It landed right there. But however, I want to show something else. Let's draw this out to from this pivot. We went up all the way up to here. Look at that, to the penny on the turning point. And either way, so whether you had chosen this spot or this spot, on either way you drew that. If you picked off of this pivot or this pivot, either way, there's really not a wrong answer here. Again, we are not trying to get every, there's, there's no specific right down to the penny mathematical formula or calculation. This is like playing horseshoes and hand grenades. Okay, you just gotta get close. Close to the pin, closest to the pin wins, all right? So we want to play on the safe side, play the prior pivot. Again, what if there was a cross in here? I would have measured from a cross for sure up here. You guys know the rules on the DCDM. I don't want to cover all that right now. The main thing I want to focus in on is look at this penny, per, penny turn, right? As we make it down to the tick, this makes the nice, beautiful reversal right here. And I did not take the reversal off of this, but I had originally thought that I wanted to do that, but I did end up getting short right here. Why would I get short right there? Well, I've got the double cross, double move play that could take me all the way to there. And I get this pink dot coming in right here inside of a red PRZ, right? So this is my entry point. Um, let's show our screenshots of that. Bring our room over here real quick. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my uh, my son's Minecraft uh, video. He wanted, me to, he wanted to show me the, uh, the Minecraft um, mod that he wanted to get. So we just had that video going a little while ago. Okay, so here is, here's the finish. Let me see the one where I had this open. Here we go. So here's my, here's my short from earlier. So I'm getting in short. I'm not going into a full position here. I didn't go full 16, but I did, I did, you know, push it a bit. We got 12 contracts rolling right here. Um, my first sets were, were naked. I did hit one with the ATM, put the ATM just so I'd have some targets sitting down here 
for myself if you're wondering why there's not 12. Look for that is why. Let me, uh, can I do this a little bit larger? There we go. Okay, you guys can see that all right? Yes. So there is, there's the short play. Again, I got the double cross, double move. I've got the pink dot. Here we go, we're entering it right here. And we are putting my target, I'm front running that gold line just by a few hair ticks and ends up coming down, smashing right through, targets filled, great stuff. Now, remember my original thought was, well, I was a little bit nervous about taking this to the long side because of all the reasons I just said. MACV, mainly reason Nasdaq. not. And this one not going farther, we went coming right up here. This is the tra trade I took right before that, um, that you can see right up here. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty fun play prior to this. Me getting long on this one. Went full size position on this one. We had blue headshot right here, plus blue double dots, greens. I mean, it was just screaming at me to the long side. Pretty easy play here off of that one on the long side. Okay, so I'd already taken it to the long side, but I did see Mac V was definitely pushing to the downside, and we've got shorts favorable at this point, pretty close to the low of day. Beautiful opportunity to take that to the low of day. Long. Look for a long. And then. There it was, landing pretty much to the penny, to that gold line, going a little bit farther. Got a nice green PRZ, nice spot to go to the long side right here. Now, I did not take the long yet. Uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. I was already up 3,200 on the day. I was a little bit nervous, but man, that, that's my 4K play right there. Had I gone ahead and not been, uh, it was just, they seemed like they were two back to back. But yes, it was, it was very easy. I was a little bit nervous about the last two days. We've been absolutely crushing it. We've had some windfall days and being a little more cautious as I went into today. So I didn't take that back the other direction, but I did want to point out the DCDM. If you want to play this into a, if you're, if you're unsure about whether or not a scenario, well, I'm not really ready to go short on this because, you know, we know the rules. There is a green PRZ right there. Technically we can put to the long side, but I've got shorts favorable here. The Mac V is red, right? So I've got two things telling me I'm red. I got the Mac V, I got the favorable direction, red. So do I really want to take the long here? Ah, I might want to wait until I got another side before I go to the long side. Cause this is literally all you would be taking this on is just a double cross with a PRZ, that's it. Okay, and again, you can for a few pennies, right? Or like we would go to target one, but don't try to hang the moon on it. A double cross, double move though, is gonna give us a lot of ticks, right? We're usually gonna get more than 15 ticks on a double cross, double move. So the measure is from here to here, and let's get a, an estimate on this. This was from 56s to 46, so that's 10 times four, that is 40 ticks from there to there. Again, that doesn't look like very much, but that is a 40 tick drop down to this spot right there. Very, very nice play. Pink dot to add to that position. Very nice to the short side. Long side though, again, my thought was, I wanna be able to take this. You can draw out that gold line. If you want another reason um, or another way to play the DCDM, look for the reversal play. That's what I really wanna focus on here. Cause again, this is standard, right? Standard double cross, double move, no big deal. But this right here, we haven't talked about this. We'll, we'll probably do another video specific on this, but this is a great live example. So that we'll come back and talk to, but there is a nice long side um, reversal opportunity right there because oftentimes this will go down to the penny and then whether or not this makes a full reversal or not, I'm not calling the full reversal, but we will definitely most of the time get a, at least in a, a distribution, I'm sorry, an accumulation zone after the distribution because this is the distribution so what comes after the distribution? Accumulation zone, right? So can we get 10 ticks out of a zone like this? Yeah, usually. Okay. So I wanna to try to take the long uh, or the reversal play off of a gold spot right there. Give myself a little 15 tick stop, hit target one at 10 ticks, at least get 10 ticks out of it. Nice little play there on a DCDM. Then the finishing touch off of the DCDM, get the, get the gold reversal, right there off of, again, we call it the gold reversal because we're hitting there off of that gold line. And that gold line represents the 100% fib extension move, which is what some people call the double move coming out of the double cross, double move. All right, hope you guys got something out of that. Happy, what are we at? Are we at Wednesday already? Middle of the week, fantastic. We get this video there out there. 
Um, we'll do some live streaming on Friday for our uh, Friday video and trying to get out our platinum release by Friday as well. It's going to be an awesome week. I will catch you guys on the flip side. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis, G, and the rest of the gang, let's announce the big H down. See ya. Fib dot Nasdaq on the Mac V.